welcome to my youtube channel my name is Kemo Sadibi and it's been a while but I reminded of a prophetic word that God gave me on the 2nd of January this year and that was because God gave me a promise and I wanted to go ahead to start to make it happen for myself and then it dawned on me that I've never asked God what if what I'm about to do makes sense. And when I went to God and I said, Lord, I want to do this since you say you're going to do this, this, this year. And I heard a stern voice, don't help me. So this prophetic word is, don't help me. The Lord reminded me and he's saying that I should tell his people, nobody should help him. Psalms 127 says, Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labors in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. In vain you rise up early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat, for he grants sleep to his loves. In some translations, say to his beloved. So the truth is, you must make sure that you're not helping God. The only way not to help God is for you not to take initiative by yourself. You must surrender and acknowledge the Lord in all you do, according to Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. You must get God involved in every part of the actions you're taking towards the promises. And say, Lord, as I'm going to do this, you said you want to do this, and I'm going this way. I hope it's your will. If it's not your will, let it not happen. Or Lord, lead me to do things the way it should be. In fact, this is the best thing to do. Every day you wake up, you tell God. So when God gives you a promise, I want you to see it like a, a vision, in a vision board. Uh huh. And then you're not saying, okay, Lord, what's the goal for this week? And then the Lord will give you the goal. Then the next thing you say to God is, every day you wake up, you tell God, uh, what's the to-do list for today? And he will tell you, do this, this. Lord, what do I do so that we'll arrive at this promised land today? And he will tell you, in that way, you won't be helping God. You'll be doing things according and to And when you do things according to his will, he's going to perfect it. He's going to shine his light on it. And you will see the power of God. You will see the move of God. You will see all the resources. You know that popular saying, his will, his bill. You're going to see him. He's going to be smeared all over the process, the whole journey to arriving at that promised land. So please, don't help God. Don't help God. Just allow him help you. Just go to him, ask him for help, and whatever instructions he gives you, follow it. Thank you so much. God bless you. I hope this word blesses your life and redirects your path. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.